Welcome back to another training video. In this video we will look at how you can cater for extra loads in Pamir and specifically the view that you want to do it in would be your layout view and the tools that you're going to use are load point, load line, load area. You can also then add these point loads in your frame view and I'll show you how to do that but also point out that you normally want to add your loads in your layout view and the reason for that is, is that in your layout view the loads stay. In your frame view loads that you added as soon as you rebuild the truss you will see that your loads disappear. So let's get to it. You'll see that I've already relabeled some of these frames so that we can have different ones with different loads on. First of all, let's have a look at our point load. So I'm going to click on that. If you look at your command line at the top, it will ask you where do you want to place this. And for the first one, I'm going to place it on a roof level. So on T2 truss, in the middle there somewhere, I'm adding that. And then it opens up a load values dialog and depending what type of load you add it will go and add it onto those load cases where those load values are sitting for instance if you add a dead load which I'm going to do here it will appear on all dead load load cases makes sense so click OK and we've added a point load on that frame on roof level. So the next point load that I want to add is going to be on ceiling level and I'm going to do it on this side and this time adding another thousand newtons just to make it clear that we can see it and I'm clicking OK and this time it will be on ceiling level. You'll notice that the software also gives you a choice to add loads freely and to also place it as a floor and also as an attic ceiling. The floor and the attic ceiling will only work if your trusses are attics, which makes sense. Okay, so that's the point load. So the next one that we want to add would be a line load. This you can utilize for instance at the end of a truss. If you do a box cutter for instance, you want to add it at the ceiling level. So I'm going to just place it here. On these view trusses in here from that point to that point and again I'm going to add a dead load and you can now see that the value that you are typing in will be in newtons per meter so again just to make it clear I'm just going to use a thousand Click OK. what you also can do is, is you can place this line load along a frame so how do I do that I'm going to use T4 on the ceiling level, let's go to the edge, there we go, grab the center of that, get to the bottom, and you place the line load along the frame, and again, just for clarity, 1000 uh, newtons per meter, and again the value is newtons per meter, click OK. Last but not least, you want to add an area load and you've got all the different tools available to you. The one that I'm going to use is a rectangular one and I'm going to place it on this side. Okay. So here from in your properties, you can choose at what level you want to place it. So if you want to place this at the ceiling level, from the drop down I'm going to choose ceiling. This could be anything like a a canopy that's above a stove or something like that or hospital equipment or whatever that sits on those trusses and I'm going to add it here to T3 in that area again your dialog will pop up this one is slightly different it gives you the four corners of your area and you can see if I zoom out here you can see exactly where it sits and if you only type a value into one corner it uses that across the whole area 
so you can differentiate the corners to give yourself a trapezoidal type of load on that for this example I'm going to keep it simple so I'm again just going to use a thousand and this time you can see it's newtons per square meters click OK it's a dead load from the properties it's on ceiling and I'm going to click OK and there we go so now let's go and have a look at how these frames look in our frame view so first of all F9 to build these frames and then we can go have a look first of all at in frame view and here you can see there's the load applied and there's the load applied what's also nice is that you will see if you then scroll through your load cases and you get to a wind load case which shows uplift that the software will ignore those point loads and you will get the worst case designed for which is quite nice jumping back to layout view alt 1 I'm gonna choose T4 and you can see here's that uniform load I've placed from the overhang to the opposite overhang and this is an extra load that has been applied uniformly across the bottom cord and then also in this example on the overhangs of the truss let's jump back to layout view let's have a look at our T1 trusses with the line load along for example like a box cutter let's have a look at that one and you can see there the line load shows up there and again because it's on an uplift load it doesn't take it into account so let's just scroll back to a different load case and there you can see there's your point load applied on the bottom cord okay jumping back to layout view again to go and look at the T3 trusses with the area loading I'm just going to select this middle one here and you can see we've placed it on the bottom cord and you can see the load has then been applied there and it has been modified with your truss spacings and also with the factor that's part of the load case in frame view you can then also add these point loads uniform loads um, onto the trusses and you can see at the top here you've got the point load so we can add it anywhere and again it's free roof ceiling so you can choose where you want to add this and it will snap to those areas so if I place it there this one I'm going to make 500 newtons just to explain you can see it places it there the reason why it's not preferred to add point loads here or any of your loads here is that when you rebuild your truss you will see that this point load will basically disappear so if I choose my trusses from the left hand side here I right click and I say rebuild have a look at that point load and you can see it disappears you can use it to quickly check a load on your truss and on, on your frame but do not use it as a permanent placement for loads on your frames as you can see that it disappeared when I rebuilt this but the ones that were placed in layout they stay that's that for catering for extra loads in Pamir and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching